You'll find a four band fully parametric EQ on every input channel and every output bus on DLive. The four bands can be swept freely from 20 to 20, or if you prefer, by holding setup and touching the center of the screen, you can disable input full range enabled, which will lock the bands within their respective bandwidths. Like most things in DLive, the parameters of the EQ can be adjusted with the dedicated encoders, on the screen, or with the big knob. There's a compressor section in the processing of every input channel and every output bus. If you want to change the trigger of the compressor, you can use the side chain source select, and you can choose from any input or any bus on the console to trigger the compressor. You have side chain filtering, so if you want to limit the frequencies that are going to trigger the compressor, you can use that there. We have a unique feature in that we have parallel compression built into every compressor on DLive. By enabling parallel path, I can adjust the blend of the compressed versus the fully dynamic signal. You'll find a histogram underneath the compressor section. This allows me to see the behavior of the compressor, know what my gain reduction and slope are going to be before I even introduce the compressor into the signal path. With this feature, I can dial in my compressor and know exactly what it's going to do, and then once I'm happy with its behavior, I can just simply press the out in button and put it in the signal, and now I'm actually compressing. There's latency-free compressor modeling available on every compressor in the system. To access the different compressor model plugins, simply press the library button. We've got several to choose from. We've got our 16T, we've got our 16VU, Two different types of Ducker, a manual peak and manual RMS. We have our Mighty Compressor, our Opto, Optical Compressor Emulation, and then we have our Peak Limiter 76, available in both black and silver face by switching the unit. Again, these are zero latency and there's no limit of instances on these, so every input and every output can have a different type of compressor without any ill effects to your signal processing.